it is Fenerbahce 1, Manchester United 1. Manchester United again, keep picking up the draws. Keep picking up the draws. Keep doing drug deals with us fans. Here's a draw for you. Here's a draw for you. Here's a draw. Three games and a draw. Our European campaign is looking dark and gloomy. Eric Ten Hag out. I swear to God, I do not give a shit, guys. I don't give a shit. Do you know why? Because this is the Europa League. This is the competition where we should be doing something. Three games. We've only accumulated three points out of nine. And we are sitting 24th in that league. And you expect me to believe that this is the manager that can get us there. No way. No, 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 no. Like Drake said in his song, bro. There's no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way in how that we should keep a manager like this. I can't beat a team like Fenerbahce away from home. And we haven't won a game in Europe for 12 months. Failed to win a game in Europe for 12 months. And this is the manager that Ineos keep pushing to us. That say that they back. This is a disgrace. This is a, this is just a national disgrace as well. It's not just a your normal disgrace. This is a national disgrace. You're you're a fraud. You're every ten fraud. You're a fraud. I can't believe what I've just seen, guys. Do you know what? Yeah, we started off well in terms of getting that goal. That goal from Ericsson, which was a lovely play, lovely play from from Ganacho, like ball being won by Agate, uh, and again pass forward and. Ericsson, and then you got Bernardo running into it on, with the ball on the wing, passing it to Xerxes, and then Xerxes lining it up for Ericsson to finish it off. But typical Manchester United, when you go half time and you're thinking one year like we've been here before in Europe, this team will let you down. They will let you down because they lack concentration. They lack everything. They lack the minerals and the balls. You're supposed to be called Manchester United. Man. Chester United, United was, and you can't even be united in the first couple of minutes in the second half. Where El Enazori, I'm sick of him. I've seen Enazori score against us so many times. Sevilla, I remember that twice, home and away. I swear to God, I swear to God, I will lose my shit. I've lost my shit because you know what? Yeah, this is a team that we should be beating. We was two 0 up against Porto, end up three three. 1-0 up against this team, end up 1-1. One, one. When are any of going to realise that the guy that they have hired is not good enough? This guy, Eric Turnock, is a scrub. I swear to God. I s Let me be a real with you. The guy, the bald-headed prick himself, I definitely know that this guy, just, I just look at him and I know he's shit in bed. He's shit in bed. Do you know why? Because he, he can never get us there. He can never get us there. I bet you, with that bald-headed guy of his, I, he definitely looks like the type of guy that has never made his woman come. Not at all. No. Look at that. Looks like his foreplay is shit as well. The foreplay that we get on the pitch is shit. We never get there. I definitely know that he can't make that woman come at all. Because he can't make us get anywhere. We're always like, oh. We're never going, oh, oh. We're like, all the time. Oh. In disappointment. Never get us there. We never get there to that climax moment. Never. Because that guy can't do it. He is not the one. He's not the one. He lied to me. He lied to all of you guys. I thought he was the one. You know, I thought he was Neo, the one. Never turned out to be Neo, the one. He's Neo, the singer. Not Neo from Matrix. We've got the wrong one. We've got the wrong Neo. No. I can't believe what I've just seen today again. Dreadful football in the second half. This team done absolutely nothing in that second half apart from Dallas' point opportunity that he laced and free and passed the ball to Marcus Rashford and Rashford again. Two opportunities to score and he just showed me he's not good enough. I'm tired of seeing Marcus Rashford and Alejandro Granacho play together at the same time. You need to have balance, Eric Ten Hag, and I don't think you understand what balance is with that bald head of you, that big head. You can't. You don't know what balance is, huh? You don't know what your balance is, huh? You understand this language, huh? Because you always go, huh? But you can't understand what balance is. I'm tired of this, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I tried so hard. Acon Bone fucking Harmony. I tried. And I had to take this shit all the time. Week in, 
week out. My team cannot perform. They've been inconsistently. They've been consistent inconsistently. Like, inconsistently consistent at being inconsistent. That's my football club. Today, I said it before, you cannot have two wingers who are so direct. You need to have balance. Balance. One who is creative and one who likes to be direct, likes to cut in. That creative miss and winger that can create chances and opportunities, who's not direct but takes on players, sails them up, you know, one twos and brings you in to score goals. Why is it so difficult for Manchester United to do that? Um, why is it so difficult for Ten Hag to have one creative winger and one direct winger? You know, one that likes to run into space and one that just likes to cut and skill people up, play one two and create opportunities. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science, Eric Ten Hag. Seriously. This team is embarrassing. I've had enough. I've had enough. And look, we're going to go to West Ham and draw again. Because this guy's just showed me he's incapable of leading this team to winning. It is emotional right now. It is hard for us, Manchester United, to go through this week in, week out. Three points out of nine. Sackable offense. Sackable offense. It's an embarrassment. I told you, national disgrace. National disgrace to English football. And yet, we have to wait a fortnight later or three weeks later for the next game, match day five. I, I mean, match day four, sorry. I don't know what to do, Robert Moore. I don't know whether Ineos sees it. Because Ineos, both of your clubs are doing rubbish in Europe. You've got Manchester United 24 and Nice sitting 32. Or... <coughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the nonsense that Manchester United are making. You're making me cough. You are making me sick. Physically, mentally as well. But yeah, you got Nice in that position, lower position, but this is just embarrassing. I don't know what to say to you, Manchester United fans. We deserve better, we deserve more. But all I have to say is big up Andre Onano. Big up Andre Onano for those double saves. Big up Bugatti for an excellent performance. The rest of your scrubs, you can all go to hell. You get me? Like, how are you going to do this to us <clears throat> all the time? Maserati. We had a manager who played Maserati in the number 10 position. Number 10, a defender. Number 10 position, left back slash right back, playing number 10. And you thought you was a genius. I swear to God, bold-headed guys are crazy. They're insane. They're not normal. Every bold-headed guy I've met is not normal. They move weird. They move super weird. Look at Pep. Look at Lucas from EastEnders. Bold-headed guy. Weird guy, Phil Mitchell, weird guy. Eric Turner, super weird guy. Not normal, in it? R. Kelly, bald-headed prick, weird guy. But yes, all I have to say to you, Manchester United fans, it's just squeaky bum time for the rest of the season. Squeaky bum time for the rest of the season it's going to be hard for you guys it's going to be hard for me as well oh, I can't take this anymore I can't do this but I have to, this is my job this is my second job I don't get paid for this Imagine you don't pay me to go through this pain through this misery, through this suffering this is trials and tribulations for me this is, this is, this is it but it is what it is. Look at these players. They're all scrubs. I can't even talk about Rashford. I'm tired. You've seen it all. Manchester United fan. I'm not saying, I'm not chanting. We've seen, we've seen it all. We want a lot. No, you've seen it all with Marcus Rashford. And I ain't seen a lot from him. I'm telling you that. I'm glad I didn't see Bruno to play today. Because he would have given the ball away numerous of time and stressed you out. I can't take this anymore. But I'm going to have to take it. That's what we do. Us mentioning fans, because of the love of the game, love of the team, we're going to have to take this shit every week until changes are made. Ineos, you're on full watch. I just tell you, I swear to God, I swear to God, even though I'm not going to do shit about it, because why? Because we love our team. We're just going to be like, I'm just going to go back again on Sunday to get abused one more time. I always say I'm going to leave. If he does, if Man United does one more time, I'm going to leave. 
But I'm lying. We're all lying. All us all Manchester United fans were lying. We we're just too loyal. We we're too loyal for this. They don't deserve us. They don't deserve you. None of them deserve you. They don't deserve us. But we're loyal. We are 1,000% loyal fans who love this club so much that we're willing to see our club get their head chopped like Ned Stark. Get me? Anyway, guys, Bonda players, big up to Onana, big up to Ogate as well. Alexson, you've done okay. But the rest of the players are scrub. No, they're all scrub. Lindelof, you could have done way better when you conceded that goal. You, 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 it's not, Lindelof is not a Viking. I swear to God, Swedish, Swedish Vikings, I, I've heard that they're the soft Vikings. The blonde hair and the blue eyes Vikings? Nah. Mm -mm. Models. They're models. But it is what it is. Because let me know who your man the match is and your thoughts of this game. Let me know who your donkey of the match is. Your boy is out. I'm tired. It's late. I just want to go to bed and, and go to my bed and start crying and tossing on the pillow, tears on the pillow and everything because it's emotional, man. I'm mentally drained. I feel for everyone. Guys, you let me know, man. Am I not going to win this weekend? <laughs> I know. Till next time, guys, remember to keep it united if you can. But always remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace.